Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm 25 years old. Could you tell me something about your family? I have a mother and a father. Okay. What's your favorite subject? I don't know. I study just because I want to get a good job in the future. But I really don't like studying. Oh, I see. Who's next? Good morning, everyone. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name's Kate. I'm 26 years old. I grew up in Poland and I lived there most of my life before moving to the United States. Very good. Tell me about your schooling, please. I studied at Meridian International School in Warsaw and now I'm here to complete my graduation in this college. I'm very excited to be here. Great! What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is IT and I also enjoy learning English. What's your goal in studying? My goal is to become a good programmer and work for a big tech company. Excellent! Hello everyone, I'm Kate and welcome back to my English Lessons with Kate channel. Today we have a very important topic for you. How to introduce yourself in English. When you meet new friends, attend a job interview or just strike up a conversation, knowing how to introduce yourself is a very useful skill. So let's get started. When you want to introduce yourself, you can include the information about your name, age, location, it's a place where you live, family, education or job, hobbies and your goals. But before we talk about each point, let's start with some useful sentences you can use to begin your self-introduction. First of all, don't forget about a greeting. Say hello, good morning or good afternoon everyone. Then you can simply say, let me introduce myself. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Or it's my pleasure to introduce myself. If you're given an interview in a college or university, you can say, I'm very glad to be here. I'm excited to be a part of this group or a class or team. Or I'm delighted to be a part of this academic community. When introducing yourself, the first thing you'll want to share is your name. It's as simple as saying my name is, my name's Kate or just I'm Kate. You can also use a phrase, you can call me, my name's Christina but you can call me Chris. Next, it's common to speak about your age. You can say I am years old or you can mention your birth year like this. I was born in. I was born in 1995. If you don't want to share the information about your age, you can simply say, I'm in my, for example, in my mid 20s. Early 20s means when you're between 20 and 23 years old. When you're in your mid 20s, you're between 24 and 26 years old. When you're in your late 20s, you're between 27 and 29 years old. It's like you're getting closer to being 30, but you're not there yet. Please pay attention that in British English, they pronounce the T sound, 20s. And in American English, they don't pronounce the T sound. It's 20s. It's very important to tell others where you're from or where you currently live. You can say, I'm from your country or I come from your city or region. I'm originally from your country. If you've moved to a different place, you can say, I currently live in. I'm originally from Russia, but I currently live in Turkey. Sharing some information about your family can help people get to know you better. You can say, I have 
number of family members or my family includes. If you live with someone, you can mention that too. Like, I live with my, for example, I have three family members. My family includes my parents and my sister. I live with my spouse. If you have many brothers and sisters, you can also say, I'm the oldest or the youngest in the family. Now you need to talk about your education or job because it can help others understand your background. You can say, I studied your major at your university name. If you had a previous job, you can mention it like this. I used to work as a at. For example, I studied computer science at Stanford University. Or I used to work as a software engineer at Microsoft. If you're given an interview in a college or university, you should say, I studied at your school name. Or I completed my junior college education at your junior college name. I studied at St. John's High School. Or I completed my junior college education at Greenfield Junior College. When you introduce yourself, you can tell about your hobbies. You can say, in my free time, I enjoy. Or one of my passions is. You might also say, I love as it helps me relax. Or I'm a big fan of. For example, in my free time, I enjoy reading. One of my passions is hiking. I love gardening as it helps me relax. I'm a big fan of playing football. You can also say, I'm an enthusiast for. An enthusiast is a person who is very interested in a particular activity or subject and who spends a lot of time on it. For example, I'm an enthusiast for music. Or it's okay to say, I'm a music enthusiast. An art enthusiast, a sports enthusiast. Remember, sharing your hobbies can make your introduction more interesting. When you're given an interview in college or university, it's very important to talk about your goals. You can use phrases such as, one of my main goals is, I'm working towards, or in the near future, I hope to. One of my main goals is to start my own business and become an entrepreneur. I'm working towards earning my master's degree in computer science. In the near future, I hope to travel to Japan. When you're talking about your goals, you can also use phrases like I'm currently studying with the aim of I'm currently studying psychology with the aim of becoming a licensed therapist and helping people overcome mental health challenges. Now, let's practice what we've learned today. It's a very important step if you want to improve your speaking skills. Write a comment below this video and introduce yourself using my structures. I will check out every comment and give you feedback. That's it for today's lesson. Now you know how to introduce yourself confidently in English. Practice these phrases and don't forget to be yourself when you're making new connections. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this lesson helpful, please like, subscribe and share with your friend who is also learning English. Stay tuned for more English lessons. See you next time!